Hi. Um, yeah, I mean, I had a lot of therapy. And um, part of why I said to her in legal, I hired an attorney and issued a cease and desist, um, might have been a little drastic. Um, the attorney was skillful. He knew this was more of a family matter. So he worded it. I still have it. I believe I put it onto the internet. Um, he worded it as just give me time. Sorry, if I do this, it's because there's literally bugs everywhere in here. Uh, he worded it as I just need time to heal. Give me time. And that was what my therapist was telling me. One of the big components to that is because if you're going to have any dialogue and a relationship with two people or one person who's always going to insist and persist and never relent that you are bipolar, you are in psychosis. Anytime, for anything, you really gotta re-examine that relationship. So I'm imagining, but not psychotically, I am in presumption that I'm going to hear that next too. I'm in psychosis now. Everybody here is just fine. That wasn't even a crack pipe I saw or touched or took a picture of. No, I'm imagining that. That's my bipolar delirium. And what else? I'm not hearing anything or smelling anything. I didn't smell all the drugs. I had no reason to text the local police for, for how many weeks straight. I didn't hear all the sex. What else? I don't hear or oh, smell the, the new one, the rot, the rot. What else? I'm perfectly fine and I am not in danger. The fact that I think I'm in danger is because I'm paranoid from bipolar mania. Look, I can see that's gearing I might be a little bit assumptive. Maybe I'm incorrect, but I am apprehensive and I, I, I might be defensive. And I, I feel that that's where this conversation is going to end up in text, in text memo. Uh, it's always that. And that's what my therapist was trying to get through to me. You might want to take some time away from them. Look, I'm ready right now to abandon my fucking property. I am no longer going to be in a dangerous room rental where we know he cannot rent to regular people here and endanger my life, my, my animals, my live animals here. You know, I deserve so much better than this. And I've really worked on that with therapy and sobriety and college. I put the work in. I deserve so much better than this. If I got to abandon all my property to go somewhere safe and everybody along the way refused to help me, that's really unfortunate but look that might be happening so i gotta keep calm and just figure it out i'm not responding or text messages or fucking talking to these people anymore i can't they're sick